how much we spend in a week on a budget sister's trip to Australia. Rise and shine, Gold Coast. It's day four of our trip and two of us checked out of the hostel early. So we dumped our luggage in a luggage locker and headed for breakfast, which we got some egg Benedict's pancakes at this cute pancake place. We'll just gobble it down because next we went for a surfing class. It was honestly a workout but very, very fun. We then went to soak in the sunshine by the beach and indulge in one of the most sinful but amazing ice cream I've had. Yum, yum. Then off we went to do some touristy shopping at the beachfront malls before hopping on the tram and bus to get to our farm stay. On the way, we tried a local ice cream bar and soon enough, we arrived at Movie World to catch the for Movie World, we had to hike what felt like a few kilometers to our farm stay. High horses and big crow. It was a long hike, but we finally arrived at the Paradise Country Farm Stay, only to find out that the pedestrian gate has closed. We successfully got in via the car gate, and there were so many cute animals at the farm. But first, we checked into our tent. It was cozy and romantic and had a great view of the forest from our own balcony. Dinner was not provided, so we Uber eat some crisp be fresh fish and chips which we enjoyed on a random bench we found but oh gosh the night sky here is stunning just look at the constellations after dinner we went on to explore the farm stay and visited the cute animals but oh dear me going to the communal shower was not the easiest but that was the end of our eventful good day and this is today's damage